Ah, the old black-on-black crime arguments making the rounds again. And this time we have Ari Spears versus Omar Epps. And not Omar Epps, uh, Mike Epps. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is coming to us from Comedy Hype. And it gives a, it gives me an opportunity to discuss this nonsense. Like, oh, black-on-black crime. Long and short, guys, you're you're going to commit more crimes around people that you're around more often. Urban America, for the longest, has been filled with quote-unquote black people. So thusly, yeah, black-on-black black crime is going to be a thing, as is white-on-white white crime and any other type of crime. Can't crime just be crime? Can, like, like, seriously? But, uh, yeah, so, Ari Spears impersonations. That's the most that I remember. Him and that thing with Corey Holcomb. Eh, who really gives a shit? It is what it is. Uh, and Mike Epps, who, I, like, you know, Day Day was fun. But beyond that, I, like, him and Ice Cube, I think they made a really good pairing for a few flicks there. But for the most part, particularly when it comes to stand up, I'm just, I, like, I can't, I'm not particularly drawing much from either one of them. Like, one just does impersonations, and the other one plays a great bit character, in my opinion. But there's apparently a back and forth between the two when it comes to the subject of black on black crime, as I said of in the beginning. And so we're gonna get into this. Good morning, peace and blessings to everyone. I want to speak upon um, the young man that got killed in my hometown, Indianapolis. These cops, got to they got to be punished. You can't put them on desk duty. You can't suspend them. They got to feel the wrath. I mean, you know, you, you just out here killing young black men for nothing. I mean, you... So, as it comes... When it comes to... This isn't the um, Ahmaud Arbery situation. This is clearly another situation where the environments that, like, like I've said, the lack of fathers in urban America has been the greatest L that we've taken. Like when people sit there, like Eidos, like, oh my goodness, we need our reparations and shit. Now, that deal was signed back in the 60s and the welfare state was a gigantic part of it. The uh, government programs came in and replaced fathers and you know, like, oh, go ahead, girl, and through the media, through the, through quote unquote the culture, you don't need no man, girl. I'm in ain't shit. That 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 that. And it's like, oh wait, okay, bet. And it projected onto a uh, 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 unwitting populace that you know just absorbed it. Really took the images and ran with them. Oh my goodness, black woman, you're so so oppressed. The black man just just tears you down and 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 sees you and sees you as nothing in many respects. Not all hashtag not all in like, but that sentiment overran the quote unquote black American community and the families have been trashed ever since. They have and what what's happened is they've created these environments that these young men come up in with no true respect for authority at all and <laughs> and just run amok to to whereas they end up in the prison system and thusly these places um are ultimately you know prison farms urban america the, the like just the, just how how um policies such as the drug war and um you know the, the welfare state, how these policies were applied in these communities was ultimately detrimental because you created just generation after generation of, you know, those who rely on the state. People come solely dependent on the state as opposed to, you know, the family that unfortunately the state went out of its way to make sure wasn't there. So, you know, when it comes to these cops in many cases, it ends up uh, like the, like the it ends up being justified because of the individual involved in their relationship with authority, or how they view authority. Something that having the father figure in the home, let's say eight times out of ten, um, really helps to solidify. So oh, it, it it it's sad that. They're hiring cops that are not uh, culturally connected to the culture. They're scared of black people. They see that's the thing. I've uh, guys go. You can go down this channel. I've I've plenty of black cops, fam. 
you mean that are disconnected from the culture? Many of them come in, they, they, they hang around for a couple of years, and then they bounce because they're making enough money to be able to have a mortgage out in, out somewhere else. But as far as, oh, they have no connection to, quote unquote, the culture, plenty of, plenty of quote unquote, urban cops out there, man, because it, and it's a, in and of itself has become, you know, a means in which to get yourself a pension, be able to take care of yourself and your family. And with them removing manufacturing and production and other means in which to be able to take care of yourself, yet yeah, any old assholes gonna go and try and pick up a badge because he has no better options. The young, they skinny, they weeny, they ain't never been around a black person in their life. And then you chase them down and you kill them, you overkilling them, you shooting them a hundred times. And young black men, we gotta stop giving them an opportunity to kill us. True or shit, because it's never been fucking written. If we want to keep it a buck, like the situations and circumstances, uh, be aware. Be aware, bro. Like that's it's so important to have knowledge, not just of yourself, but of your surroundings. You gotta stop giving them an opportunity to kill us. They're killing us because they watching us kill us. Well, Mike's message wouldn't fully be embraced by everyone. Ari Spears in particular would speak up against Epps' message to young black men, giving police officers a reason to shoot them. Ah, uh, Aries, bro, hit the gym. And he would also address D.L. Hughley for resharing Epps' message. I recently saw a post where Mike Epps was basically uh, talking about how all these cops is killing black folks and how we need to do something about it and how we need to be better. And then towards the end of his clip, he said, we have to stop giving cops a reason to kill us. We have to stop killing us so they could stop killing us. And D.L. Hewley... Re- I really don't think that uh, that's specifically what he said. That we, we just watched it. He said, hey, look, you know, stop giving them a reason. And now, I, like, I, like, I can't help but feel like Aries is just... It's, it's uh, contrarian for contrarian's sake. Because it's not, it really isn't like that harmful. Like this feels more just like yo, know, like he's aiming to be uh, a contrarian, just for the sake of you know a, a few extra hits. Posted it. First off, I love me some D.L. Hewley, and I respect the shit out of Mike Epps. These are two very talented brothers. But we got to do better than that. What the fuck do black people killing each other have to do with cops killing black people? Because, I mean, if you're a murder suspect, you're more than likely to end up in a situation with the cops because you're a murder suspect. Guys, oh, man, Ari Spears, come on, my guy. <laughs> if you're a murder suspect, why do you think you're going to be in front of the police? It's like, bro, like, I, I as I said at the beginning of this video, I own the reality that is urban slash black a descendant America and quote unquote the culture that really that is but isn't you know ours and like Aries my guy like this is the simplest shit in the world (laughs) hey that's a very dangerous narrative to try to portray because that allows them to hide behind their racism we know why they but that's the thing is it racism if the person suspected a murder like yo if they did it like, <laughs> like that's the thing <laughs> you can't just be like yeah man like yo the, like the blackness overtakes whether they did the shit or not like like uh, what so a standard needs to be set aries a standard needs to be set, okay? And the crazy part is, is like, yo, if you involved in what they've deemed and you've allowed with 900% increase in black elected officials, right? So the people who are even hiring these cops are your mayors, your councils, and and, and the people that they put in these places. Your, their police chiefs and all this other fun stuff. So to sit here and be like, oh man, these white folks and their racism and their white supremacy without being it, like without having any type of inward reflection is just it, it, it's it's amazing it's amazing to me plus it ain't got shit to do with what we do in our own community okay and for him to say but that's the thing as the people that sit there and patrol these communities people that if if something ill was to happen regardless something ill happen you still call 911 
right? Just to clear yourself w- with the law. You still call 911. So to sit here and be upset because, you know, Mike Epps basically said, like, look, man, don't put yourself in a position to have that type of interaction with the cops. Like, yeah, <laughs> like that, like it, 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 it's it's rock solid, brother, whether you like it or not, there, Aries. That is irresponsible because it allows them to hide behind their racism for, to commit murder. So unless you have the skill level to articulate or convey your point the right way, if you don't, Mike, stay the fuck away from the topic, dog. And how, like, who are you to tell somebody, like, guys, for as much as I sit there and say, like, yeah, I, 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 what I say is don't put the camera in Charlemagne the God's face, right? Like, I never say Charlemagne the God don't talk. I sit there and say it's just, like, you don't take them seriously. Like, maybe, like, you know, like, we can't, like, you as an individual, as you listen to this, don't take it seriously. Um, because, like, they ultimately... Uh, there's a there's a few things, a few bits of information that everyone's missing. I'm missing as well. Make absolutely no mistake about that. But I'd never be like, oh yeah, man, shut your mouth, bruh. You can't talk about this, bruh. Nah, run your mouth all you want. It's just, hey, you listen to this. Eh, no, don't 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 give them but so much attention, okay? Like, don't, don't give them your money around it. Because <laughs> that's not the message we try to convey. I love me some black people. I love me some Mike Epps. I love me some D.L. Hewley. Oh, man. See, that's the thing. He loves everybody, but he going to sit there and be like, yo, shut your mouth. Don't talk about this thing. It's it's it's, it's amazing. It really is. And quote, unquote, black people. Like, bro, like, it, I, I like good people. I like honorable people. I like people with integrity. I like people that I can respect, you know, just at a at a at, at an intellectual, integral level. Not, you know, oh my goodness, my black people. I know not all cops are bad, but we can't do that. That's some shit Barclay oh would say. Goodness, we gotta We cannot do that. That is something no my brother, that's something that a sellout would say. How dare you like I'm telling you, there's this cadence all of them have. I I I, I do it all the time in my videos. That's right, but the there is no way that you can let the white man come and tell you how it is to live your life, brother. Heck no, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Like, uh, Pray for him, right? Like, that's all you can really do is just pray for him because talking to him is impossible. I promise. Like, having a conversation with this person, like, he sit there and freak out, get emotional. Oh! How that? How that? How that? He, 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 like, yo, like, you, you can tell. Better than that. In LA. All right, thank you, Comedy Hype. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description, guys. But yeah, it's just, it's more just jargon and more posturing, you know, more black posturing as opposed to anybody really considering what the real problems are and how to fix those, how to change the environments and, you know, put the, and go more in a traditional family first type manner. So, you know, it it is what it is. Just, just let them squawk. They've all tasted the Holly weird Kool-Aid, you know? So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like the toss, like this, like, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub, if you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to give videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, yeah, Ari Spears. I mean, we, like, like, without social media, these gentlemen have absolutely, like, like, where's the flick? Where's the flicks? Where's the, the movies? Where's all these, uh, you know, great creative ideas that, you know, you got that you, that you want to push forward? Not your stand-up, because I don't particularly care for either one of their stands up, but you might like it, and that's what my comment section's for, all right? That, and, you know, Hey, what do you think about the black woman, black crime um, argument? I think it's one that's mute at this point. Who gives a shit? Fix, fix the environments and then we'll uh, fix the environments, fix the laws, fix the policies, and then we'll be able to uh, really start getting things on track. But you may disagree. Comment section. Until the next one.